Question number 61. <clears throat> Is it true that government fines can't be discharged? Yes, the following fines and penalties cannot be discharged in a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Number one, fines for violating federal agency rules. Number two, fines for violating federal election laws. Number three, fines for contempt of court. Number four, restitution to victims in a federal criminal case. Number five, fines related to misdemeanors or felonies. Number six, debts to a bail bond company for bond forfeiture. And number seven, any court fees or court-ordered judgments related to criminal activity. None of those can be discharged. Question number 62. I recently took some credit card advances. Is that a problem? If you have received a total of over $825 of cash advances involving one creditor within the 70-day period before the filing of your bankruptcy, those debts are non-dischargeable. Question number 63. I just bought a big screen television on my credit card. Is that a problem? If you have had recent purchases of luxury items on a credit card and those charges exceed $550 in debt to one creditor within 90 days before you file, there is a presumption that your intent was fraudulent when you made those purchases. Luxury purchases means the purchase of luxury goods or services and they are items that are not necessarily um, reasonable or necessary for the support and maintenance of your family. And that would include something like a big screen television. Question number 64. Do I need to be current in my income tax return filings? The answer is you must give your tax returns to the trustee at least seven days before your creditor's meeting. If you don't do that, your petition will end up getting dismissed. The best practice is to get your last two years tax returns and send them to the trustee as soon as he or she have been assigned to your case. You'll get a notice telling you who your trustee is and then you should immediately send your tax returns to your trustee. Question 65. Can anyone file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy? Uh, the answer is no, you have to qualify. And how you qualify is that you pass something called the means test. Question 66. What is the means test? The means test is a financial calculation designed to determine if you have the ability to pay back any part of your debt. It is a complex financial calculation using some of our expenses and line items from various government sources to determine if you can make some payments over a period of time. Question 67. Okay, well what happens if I fail the means test? If you fail the means test, that means that you would be required to file a Chapter 13 bankruptcy as opposed to a Chapter 7. Question 68. You know, I'm embarrassed about having to file this bankruptcy. Has anyone famous ever filed for bankruptcy? Well, first of all, don't be embarrassed. You're in good company. Some famous people who have filed are filmmaker Francis Ford Coppola, singers Wayne Newton, Cindy Lauper, and Latoya Jackson, comedian Jackie Mason, actress Kim Basinger, and there are many others who you would recognize. Walt Disney even put his first company into bankruptcy. Question number 69. I've heard that even some politicians have filed for bankruptcy. Is that correct? Yes. For example, George McGovern, he was a former United States Senator from South Dakota and ran for president. He filed, as well as J. Fife Symington, who was the governor of Arizona. He actually filed while he was still in office. Number 70, well, who are the major participants in the bankruptcy process? The debtor, that would be you. The creditors, those are the people that you owe money to. And the trustee. The trustee is an official appointed by the bankruptcy court to manage your bankruptcy. 
There's also something called the United States trustee, which is a government uh, agency which oversees the process and it oversees your individual 